Good morning. Welcome to Phil's Camp and Touring. Sorry. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to Phil's Camping Reviews. Got another cooking video for you today. You'll notice my last video is on that Aldi Cooler Bar Bullet Smoker. So today we're doing another cooking video on that one. And I'm going to cook up two chickens. Not one, but two. Just look at that. She is blowing hot. Can you see that? Whoa, and all the ash is blowing all over the camera here. Yesterday, I went to the local, uh, what do you call, IGA Superfield store. It's a special uh, fresh fields, I think it's called. That's it, IGA Fresh Fields. So it's a special IGA store, I think it might be a little bit more upmarket, so it's got better quality produce, etc. Particularly the meats, the roasts, etc. You should have seen the roasts, absolutely amazing that they've got in there. So I'm going to start getting some roasts from there and trying them out. But while I was in there, they had two whole chickens on sale. For five dollars they were not marinated so if you have a look at the video here and chickens have marinated them yesterday and in fact the marinade i'll use i'll just go grab it and show you so this is the marinade i've used about a month ago i purchased this from my local's barbecue galore store it's a jack daniels chicken rub and they told me it's really nice and it is guys i have tried it already on some chicken wings and chicken legs and it is very nice but this time two whole chickens and i'm going to cook both those whole chickens inside that aldi cooler bar bullet smoker that i picked up a few days ago for only 150 dollars on sale from 200 down to 150 dollars i like using the really hot gigi charcoal so make sure you got these really good gloves okay these ones are from snow peak i've had these for a while and they're brilliant so now what we're going to do is we just need to pour this inside the smoker. Now I need to stand back. Oh, that's a lot of heat there, guys. That's a lot of heat. Ooh! <laughs> Boy, just look at that. She is blowing hot. Now what I like to do next is I've got the water dish, so I fill it up about three quarters of the way with hot water. Ah, I prefer to grab one that's on the top. I'll then put this grate on the top like so. I don't need it, but just in case, if I want to cook some uh, potatoes or veggies, I can use them. And now you've got all these separate pieces here that I am now going to connect up. So as you can see, these that these lock in place like so. So let me finish setting this up. So it's all prepared now guys. I've got the Bluetooth thermometers in here. As you can see I've got two. I'm going to talk more about that on another video one day, okay? Uh, there's a new one I've just acquired not so long ago. And I've been testing it out. And today I'm going to compare it against the, my meter, which is on the right. So I've got two chickens here. So I'm going to cook this over a low heat, around about 200F thereabouts, Fahrenheit, I like to use Fahrenheit. You wouldn't believe it, it took about 6 or 7 hours to cook. Now I had a sneaky peek just before. It's ready now, and there she is. Oh, look at all that smoke, eh? So I've got two chickens. So I cooked two chickens today, 
Yeah, it won't look real funny, doesn't it? <laughs> Legs apart. <laughs> it looks so silly. It looks so weird. Look, guys, you see that? That's so funny. Everyone's asking, are you sure it's cooked? My oath, it's cooked. All right, I'm going to take this off this fire, off this heat now and let it settle. <sighs> Move the camera around and have a look. Hello, chucky, 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 chucky.